Okay. Yeah. We are in the house of one of our friends and uh, they live in a small room. And uh, I really hate poverty. Sometimes we don't realize what we have in, in Europe, in America. That we are so spoiled, that we are so unsatisfied with the things we have. We always want to have more and more and more. Whereby people with the small things here, they are happy, happy with the small house, happy with the small room. But in the West, we are so spoiled. And really the heart of God is with people who are, you know, poor and oppressed. And, and the church in Europe, the church in America, we should not close our eyes. We should help our brothers and sisters, wherever they are. And really, I'm telling you, God's heart beats for the unvoiced people, people who don't have a voice. And we must be voice to them. We, we must share what we have with other people. We must share, you know, it doesn't always need to be money, money, money. But it can be love, it can be care, it, it can be an attention. It can be a hand on a shoulder saying that you are not alone, we love you. If you are watching me here in the West, if you are in Europe, in America, Australia, where you are, don't just think about your own life. Think about others. Think about other people. Really, my heart is touched here today. And, and I, I really don't know what to say when I see children happy, blessed, and how spoiled our children are in the West. It's so many games, so many, you know, shoes and all this stuff like that, and they are still not happy. And these beautiful children here, they are happy with small things. Really, a church must cry out for our other brothers and sisters in developing world. Really, we, we should open our eyes and offer encouragement, love, care for them, really. I am so humbled to be in this house because this house to me looks like a palace full of love. And there we are in the West, we live in beautiful air-conditioned, nice houses, but there is no palace there. This is palace, palace of love, really. God bless you if watching me this. I really hope you are touched and you will do something in your community for the people in need, really.